Mick and Karen Williams run a mixed arable farm in the Carterton district with crops on around 200 hectares. They grow feed barley, seed peas, ryegrass and red clover as well as high value hybrid vegetable seeds such as chard, onion and sweet corn. The Williams were the Supreme Balance Farm Environment Award winners in 2013 for the Greater Wellington region. Mick believes their strength lies in the team culture on farm, between family, employees and the people they do business with. Consolidation is probably our focus at the moment. Bank manager would please to hear us say that. <laughs> so I guess future proofing is yeah, reducing the debt is the main thing and keeping up with the latest um, technologies in farming too, even in terms of making sure we're not falling behind. This year we've got 125 wiener Frisian bulls and Frisian cross bulls on, so we buy them 100 kilos sort of late October, November, and we will hopefully be, majority of them should be killed by the following Christmas, so at, at, at 250 kilo carcass weight. Just about all our crops are spring sown, so over the winter we're putting everything back into Italian ryegrass and forage rape, and we're finishing approximately 5,000 lambs a year for Cabernet Foods, which is the local abattoir. It's quite a good mix, having the lambs. It's a good break over the winter from the, the cropping side of things. And in terms of breaking down the crop residue and things, having that livestock component really helps. As the crops are harvested in January, February, March, we get straight back in with the, um, with the direct drill and the planting Italian ryegrass, which is our, our own kept seed. And um, so, yeah, we get that in, give it a squirt of water if need be, and then we start getting the lambs in. So th this year, is, it was more April by the time we got the first of the lambs on. This is the first draft. They've done quite well. We're getting three quarters of them ready to go. We're down here on what we refer to as the accretion, which is our paddock basically running closest to the river all the way around the farm. It's a freer draining stonia type soil and so the river's only 50 metres away, so it will go under a bit more periodically. But it fits in well with the whole operation because one of the things that we're quite fussy about is looking after our soils, and one of the ways we look after our soils is the cattle don't go onto any of the cropping soils when they're too wet, and that is where this um, fits in quite nicely. They can come down here over the winter, um, break feed, and you don't really make too much of a mess. It's quite a key bit of the overall operation. The dairy bulls, they come in in sort of pretty much two lines. We get a line from Tauranga. There's three different dairy farms up there we've been sourcing them from for about four years now. So that's a direct deal, and they're sort of October. And then this lot, they came from two lines from the fielding sale. So they come in 100 kilos or just over, and we'll be aiming to kill them before Christmas. The cattle are mainly for ease of livestock over that spring-summer period when we're busy with cropping. I don't have time to be dagging lambs and checking fly striking them, so the cattle are just a good fit on the areas that we don't crop, so there's a few areas just um, with trees and just areas of land that aren't suitable for cropping, and cattle are the best fit for those areas over the summer. We're on a lease block in Morton Road, just east of Carterton, 24 hectares. It's just a short-term lease that we've taken on. We're putting some Italian into barley stubble for some winter grazing and um, hopefully we'll get a cut of silage off it in the spring. This is the cross lot, the bacon no tillage drill. We've been using it on our family farms since 1998. So this is the third drill I suppose we've had. It is at the high end, but we believe that it's the best drill for our situation. It enables us to be a true no tillage farmer. And so everything is direct drilled other than a hybrid onion seed, because we're planting a bulb and the hybrid sweet corn, except the precision planted. Because we know tillage, we have to have a drill that will work in every situation, and the cross lot will do that. We can be drilling through, um, well, we've had instances where you've gone to, um, we've sprayed out grass to take silage off, it's got too wet, so the, we haven't been able to take the grass, the silage off, but we can still drill into it. We can drill through like a three and a half thousand kilo dry matter silage crop, no problem. We're a big advocate of the no tillage in terms of what it's doing for our soil. I mean, our earthworm numbers, our structure, no erosion, wind erosion, making sure we've got the base fertility right and then applying what we need with the drill. Slugs, we try not to just put the slug bait on broad spectrum, we will monitor for that. 
it's quite a cost and also I don't like using insecticides where we don't have to. And then monitoring for pests um, post-emergence too is an important part of the process. Because looking after the soil is a big part of our operation, our most recent purchase is a tracked combine. Occasionally we've had the odd wet harvest and with those tracks they say that we reduce compaction by up to 50%. So if we can reduce that, it's a, a big saving going forward as well. My background was in resource management and experience was mostly with councils and local authorities. And a lot of what I was advocating for in those roles was about enhancement of what's going on on your properties. And through various aspects, um, recommending setting aside area and riparian margins and things. And so when I met Mick and moved onto the farm, it was a great opportunity to be able to actually put into action what I'd been advocating for to other people. When we first moved onto the farm, these streams were full of willows and when it was flooding caused a lot of problem with spilling water quite quickly onto paddocks. So we had them removed and we've fenced in and planted the riparian margins and natives and we're starting to sort of really see the results now of 14, 15 years of planting. These aren't margins that you make money out of anyway, so it's not any great loss to the farming business. In 2013 we won the Balanced Farm Environment Awards for the Wellington region. It was an amazing opportunity for both Mick and I where we got to first have our, our business and our farming farm um, assessed and, and constructive feedback on what we were doing as well as um, going to National Showcase in Hamilton that year where we got put through a series of questions and things which was really good at looking in depth at our business and also meeting some like-minded farmers, which has been the real bonus of it. I really encourage people to get involved and get in there because busy farmers have always got a list of things to do. Um, it's the way you, because you're a successful farmer, you, you progress that there's always things going on. So get in there and, and get involved and the feedback and the, the networking that you'll get out of it will be well worthwhile. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.